Well, here is my Brunner air compressor, the big one. And I've got it mounted down to a board, belted up to the motor with a flat belt. It took quite a bit to get the belt to align, and hopefully it stays on for this. But I did get it pumping air and put oil in the crankcase and everything. See if we get it going again. I don't have the tank blocked up yet, so uh, bear with me. There you can see the oil level. Here's where it says runner. Here's the valve in this one. These are the same valves as the little compressor does. There's the Westinghouse motor, it's all shiny now. Look at that thing shine. Sorry, it's kind of dark, but... Look at that motor. That motor came out great. Nice and shiny. It looks like new almost. Here, I'll show you how it builds up pressure. even a challenge for it to build up pressure. And it's nice and quiet. It's almost as quiet as the speed air which is hiding right there. I'll shut her down. Okay, there you go, Cub Cadet Puller. The only flat belt I had that was the shortest one. This is International Condor Agricultural Whipcord Belt. I think it says Ray Bestis, Manhattan, something, Manhattan Rubber Division. Extendable tip. Yep. Neato. I'm very happy I got that thing working. Yay. Two working brunners. Now this brunner's pretty neat. It's one of their bigger models. It would have been a tank mounted model. It would have, uh, that whole thing would have been mounted on top of a tank motor and all. It actually the compressor would have been on the other side of the motor in relation to me. Um, the compressor would be on this side of the motor because right here there'd be a pipe coming off of there. I just removed it for now. I don't want to get bent. And then this would go this way between the motor and compressor because the motor would be on this side. And there'd be a belt tensioner with a pneumatic pulley. And the pulley would raise up and down and uh, it would rest on the belt when the pressure was low in the tank and when the pressure in the tank got to a certain level the pulley would lift up off the belt allowing this motor to just freewheel and uh, that's how this would work instead of having a kill switch like or a cutout switch for the motor rather pretty sure anyways it says Brunner on that cap right there I know it's a little dark there's a brunner there on the back of the casting. It's got this neat little oil level indicator, almost like what you'd find in an old steam engine right here. That's yeah, a pretty neat old unit. There's supposed to be a plug right here. 
this would be the air output and I think that this is a condensation I don't know what you call it but I think this small tank right here is to collect condensation that would be uh, the result of compressing air before it got into the main tank in the compressor I think that this pipe would have gone to the compressor compressor air tank rather but I'm just going to have the output right here for now this sucker puts out quite a bit of air